Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello! And we're going to talk about Star Wars because somebody has to. Yeah, sadly. I don't uh, know why we have to. <laughs> why does it have to be us? Anyway. Uh, yeah, you know, it's interesting because we've seen a marked decline in interest in Star Wars just in our own videos over the last couple of months. Uh -huh. Thank you for that, Lucasfilm and Disney. Thank you for that. But now we've got Scott Mendelson from Forbes chiming in that Star Wars may never recover from the damage done by the rise of Skywalker. Damage started before that, yeah, Scott. Yeah, no, this is, a, this is the new narrative that the media keeps spinning. It is all the rise of Skywalker's fault, even though there is a, a, you know, five years from now, two years from now, they can look back and they're gonna be able to chart this. And we can tell you right from the, right now, it started to go down after the, the Last Jedi. Yeah. I mean, there, there's no way you can argue otherwise. That is when, it did, after that, it did really well the, what, the first week or two. Yeah. Then it went, and then everything just went. Oh my God, help me. You need to get a Wilhelm scream in there uh, somehow. Is that that? Woo! Yeah. The, yeah. Uh, so, no, yeah. I did. I got it in there somehow. There you go. Um, anyway, yeah. Star Wars is toast, and uh, everybody's going to blame the rise of Skywalker. But yeah, we know. Most Star Wars fans know the damage was done before that. So I think at this point we can just call the Disney Star Wars trilogy a complete bust. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't matter which film you want to point the finger at. The trilogy did major damage to the franchise. I know which finger I want to... There, <laughs> there is a finger that a lot of people would like to to I, uh, point skyward. And you're allowed to like The Last Jedi. That's not the problem. The problem is that there is this... Uh, distinct narrative being spun that has been spun for a while that if you didn't like Last Jedi, you were not a real Star Wars fan. The media offended so many fans. Ryan Johnson offended people. There was just so much damage done. And then it, it, we saw what happened with, with Solo. And then, you know, we saw it with, you know, The Rise of Skywalker. And it's just not rebounding. The closest they got is uh, The Mandalorian. Yeah, yeah. They talk about that. So we're going to talk about this article. We're going to talk about some other uh, goings on with the declining, rapidly declining Disney Star Wars. And uh, before we get into that, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We're at almost 100,000. We're like 5,000. Oh, yes, I know. So close. 5,000 away Woo! from 100,000. So thank you guys for yeah, that. Thanks. Last like six or nine months have been incredible ever since we were uh, cut loose unceremoniously. From a blog we worked on, we've had a lot more time to do videos and the channel's exploded and you guys have been awesome. Uh, thanks for that. Even those of you who who give us hate views, we'll, we'll take we'll your take money. We'll take your hate views, yeah. We'll take your money. Thank, Thank you. you. Kisses. <laughs> so Scott Mendelson, Star Wars may never recover, may never recover from the damage done by Rise of Skywalker. I think you should, Star Wars may never recover from the damage done by Disney. I think that'd be more fair. By uh, Disney. Because even with uh, The Force Awakens, which most people liked, they had the opportunity to put everybody together and they blew that too. So, you know, I really would say done by Disney. Yeah, so here's Mendelssohn's take, and it's because he personally did not like this movie. I think that's that, a big part that's what all these a lot of these outlets. That's the problem. I liked Last Jedi. Last Jedi got undone by Rise of Skywalker. Ooh, look, it failed. It's because of Rise of Skywalker, even though I know that's not why. But I'm gonna blame it on that. No, Rise of Skywalker was they couldn't undo the damage. I mean, there's no way they could undo the damage. They tried. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what happens to Star Wars, be it on Buzzy shows on Disney Plus or that Buzzy shows. Of the next batch of hopefully well-liked movies, Lucasfilm and Disney will have blown the self-proclaimed ending to the Skywalker saga. Self-proclaimed, because the Skywalker saga had an ending in 1983. Yeah, it, it, yeah this, was, this was unnecessary. The other ending, the tacked-on uh, tacked ending. Um, so in pure financial terms, it was a hit. Uh, kind of. To the extent that it may look disappointing as partially about the many Disney mega hits, Endgame, Frozen 2, Lion King, etc. Yeah, but we're talking this thing probably had a five or six hundred million dollar budget. Yeah, I'm sure. With all with the reshoots and the marketing, yeah. they really went really out with the marketing because they knew they had to. Had it opened this year, it probably would have been a better movie. I'd agree with that. I would agree with that. Instead, its final gross puts it on the defensive while the artistic reception imperils the entire franchise. The artistic reception? What is an artistic reception? Critics on Rotten Tomatoes. Because, because when I think of artistic reception, I think of like when I was in art school and they had the gallery and you'd have a reception for your artwork. Like art and food? Yeah, art and food. Artists finger love free food, food. Finger food and art, you know? Yeah, some people like to eat fingers. Um, Lucasfilm and Disney will still have to cope with the fact that they botched the end game to the Skywalker saga. They botched the pretty much the entire Skywalker saga. I mean, now Rogue One isn't bad. 
and I don't think Solo is as bad as it gets as people give it, you know, say it is. I don't think it is, but the 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 trilogy it just wasn't good. And any momentum they had with the Force Awakens, they completely lost on the Last Jedi. And then to undo the Last Jedi, they really screwed up the Rise of Skywalker. It's just a big mess. Yeah, so they're talking about how the Rise of Skywalker basically drops the ball at the end like Spider-Man 3, Spectre, and Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. But again, that's assuming that the next to the last episode was good too. Mm -hmm. Actually, this whole trilogy has been a bust. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's because they the media has been white knighting for The Last Jedi the entire time. Yeah. Um. So, I mean, are we surprised that they're going to turn around and blame it on Rise of Skywalker? No, it's not just that movie. It was a lack of a plan. Yeah, total lack of plan. And the rejection of, look, you know, say what you will about George Lucas. I'm sure he at least had a, a coherent, cohesive idea for how, you know, Luke Skywalker's story would have progressed. And this, you know, mangled Frankenstein this trilogy is not... This is not a Skywalker not, saga. No, it's not the Skywalker saga. It's, it's the Palpatine saga. It's the Palpatine saga at this point. It is the... Disney wanted their own characters in there, so they shoved in Rey. Um, they could have... You know, it would have been okay if they had wrapped up the Skywalker saga in a way that was, you know, respectful to the source material, respectful to the fans, and then just introduced Rey as a character who's going to carry on and Luke, like, you know, Luke teaches her and then says, carry on. Mm. I think it would have been okay. And they could have used that and spun that into another trilogy or other movies down the road. That would have been okay. But you can't wrap up a saga by ruining the saga. Yeah, it, it just, it was completely, they were completely unnecessary movies. And they weren't the movies that most fans wanted. Uh, most people, again, the biggest sin of the trilogy, in my opinion, was not getting Han, Luke, and Leia back together yeah. for one scene. One scene, that's all it took. And I think the fact that they kept making Finn out like he was going to be a Jedi too and a main character and then they didn't do that was a problem as well. Well, yeah, because they, they just didn't know what to do with the, the new characters. And they just kept introducing more characters. We can't flesh out the characters that we introduced in the last movie, so let's make new characters mm -hmm. and not flesh them out either. Well, oh, I mean The Last Jedi? And yeah. The Last Jedi basically, you know, makes every important question raised in the first movie either uh, completely ridiculous, um, ignored, or it answers them in a really shitty way and then wraps everything up by the end of the movie, so there really wasn't anywhere for it to go. It's kind of like the Junior Mint episode of Seinfeld. I didn't watch Seinfeld. Okay. He well, annoyed me. They dropped the Junior Mint in the guy, and to get the Junior Mint out, you're going to have to rip rip it back open after they sewed him up with the... What? Never mind. The good guy died is from... He, is this like a, was this like an autopsy or something? No, they were, they were eating Junior Mints while they were watching a surgery in a hospital, and they dropped the Junior Mint into the guy's body cavity. It was funny, but it wasn't funny. So the Star Wars trilogy has had a Junior Mint dropped into the, the body cavity, and the only way to get it out would be to just like completely rip it open. That's a really bad analogy, isn't it? I'm just, Either way, you're dead. I, you're I, dead. I, okay. You've never seen the Junior Mint? No, and I'm going to keep it that way. Sounds. Now we got to go watch the Junior No, we don't. I don't want to see this. It'll ruin Junior Mints for me. I don't want to do that. Okay. Well, anyway, um, I, I don't even know where I'm going with this. Neither uh, do I. You lost me at Junior Mints. All right. So Mendelssohn's, Mendelssohn's point here is that the damage might be irreparable. Scott Mendelssohn sounds like he's a member of the Phantom Menace. He might be an alt-right no, Nazi. No, if he was, he would not say it was because of Rise of Skywalker. He'd say The Last Jedi. Yes. I just think everybody, can we all get together? Can we all get together and agree that Disney done fucked up? Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't matter which movie you point the finger at. Some people are pointing the finger at The Force Awakens. Disney done fucked up. I have I I, I called crap from Force Awakens on. I'm that is saying. true. Geeky was far less forgiving than I was. Uh, like the good I was, Empress. I was like, Empress what the hell was, was that? <laughs> I was like, hey, that wasn't completely terrible. And you're like, what was that? No, it was because I was like, I already saw this movie years ago. It's called A New Hope. Mixed with a little bit of Empire. Yes, it was. I think I was so dazzled by seeing Han Solo on screen again. See, that didn't dazzle me. I, saw I was right like, oh, it's Han Solo. I, saw, I see right through it. That's why, I mean, I like Sonic a lot, too. And I, I think it's a really good movie. But I don't think I liked it as much as you guys did. I think you guys were dazzled by the impressiveness. And I think it was a good movie. But I don't think it was like a nine or anything like that, you know? I, I said it was a seven or an eight. You but, said eight. But I, I said I would give it a seven or an eight. I did say a seven or eight. So probably 7.5 or 7.45. 
uh, on the neon scale. On the neon scale. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I, I am a Sonic the Hedgehog fan. I know, I am too. I'm not saying it's a bad movie. What I'm saying is, you know, I don't get dazzled as easily as you do. And then, like, in a couple years later, you'll look back and be like, eh, maybe it wasn't as good as I thought on Probably. certain movies. And I'm usually, but I'm also the one my son tells to shut up when we watch movies because I always can predict the whole dang movie and it annoys everyone. I think I think what happens with me is I set my, my expectations so low that if it's anything better than the bottom of the barrel. I'm like, well, that didn't completely suck. It's like, set, set your face was just done. Set expectations to bottom of the barrel. I did. With Sonic, I definitely did. I was like, this is not going to be good, but we're going to go see it to support the movie. And that's another video. No, Sonic was really good. I mean, I'm, I'm, we're getting off topic, but I'm just saying, I, I, I mean, to me, like you get dazzled easily. If it's shiny and brushable, though, I can't say much. I get dazzled then, too. All right. So... There, you know, look, some other people are calling out, you know, Disney is pushing back shows because they don't know what the hell they're doing. Yeah, surprise. (laughs) Most Disney Star Wars productions have been troubled. Yeah, they're clearly, they're missing something that they need to to figure out. There, there is a problem. Why, why can't they see that they've got major problems with Star Wars? Why do they keep denying that they have problems with Star Wars. Why is Kathleen Kennedy still in charge of Star Wars? Well, you know what? I don't think I don't, it's not just that. It's like because now it used to be Star Wars would go through a couple of people and it would get a story. Now it's through a story group and Kathleen Kennedy and through this committee and that committee. And it's, it almost feels like we sat down and thought, what do people like? Especially with Force Awakens and, yeah. and Rise of Skywalker. It's like, what do they like to see? Let's, oh, you like you like the Emperor, right? You like this, you like that. And that's why it keeps feeling rehashed. I mean, I'll give The Last Jedi that. It didn't feel rehashed because it felt like everything you'd expect he went and tried to do the opposite of, which is okay in, in moderation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was no moderation. But, you know, I think it's because it's running through a committee. Yeah. I, but yeah, I think that's true. I mean, look, some people are saying, well, Ryan Johnson's movie got through without jumping through all the hurdles and the production difficulty. I'm like, yeah, look what happened. He completely, uh, you know, closed off the the trilogy mm-hmm. he did close it off pretty much. you know i mean he tied up all the knots not the way most people would have wanted them tied so they had to untie them well basically it was like what would what would star wars fans you know expect what would be what would feel like star wars do the opposite <laughs> so that's pretty, pretty much pretty what much happened. uh leia flying through space sure why the hell not okay you know? that was that was why just not space jesus leia was this dumb so elijah wood he doesn't like Frodo. Frodo does not like the Rise of Skywalker, nor does he like these ridiculous uh, off-screen answers exactly. that, that Disney keeps trying to give people. Like Disney's like, hey, did you know the Sith Eternal Fleet scene in the Rise of Skywalker was created by Sith cultists on Exegol who indoctrinated Exegol's population with Sith values and raised and trained their children to become officers, mechanics, soldiers, and whatever for the Final Order. Oh, like Twitter. It's like Twitter. And Elijah Wood's like, uh, no, how could we have known? Exactly. I think everybody, I think, I don't care if you like The Last Jedi or you don't like The Last Jedi, you like The Rise of Skywalker or you don't like The Rise of Skywalker. I think everybody is in agreement on the fact that this concept, you have to go buy the comic, buy the book, just to understand what the hell goes on is stupid. Now Luke's got a yellow lightsaber, apparently. Well, yeah, I saw that earlier today because, you know, they're like, oh, because back in the past, yeah, because you just wrote it. You just made it up. Yeah. You just made that, yeah. And that's like he had this other teacher that was some woman Jedi that we never heard of before in between movies and all this other... That, that's just colossally stupid. Marvel retcon bullshit. Marvel com- The Marvel comics are apocrypha too, as well, far as Well, you know, in Marvel comics, we already see where they go. I mean, it, there, it's not even about telling... Ollie's. Good- yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's, <laughs> not even, it's not even about telling a good story. It's just about uh, pushing diversity in where there or not it's needed and pushing certain agendas and things. And that's what they're about. And I'm all for diversity as long as it makes sense. And, you know, it, 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 if it has a good a good character and it's a good story, fantastic. Bring it on. But that's not how it goes. They, it's just shoehorned in there uh, just to be like, yep, pat myself on the back. Got three check marks on in that one, you know, and, and, and that's what I worry about because they're, they're the ones now running with the Star Wars, you know, backstories and everything, make it right in the canon. And they're like, Luke suddenly has a female Jedi who trained him out of nowhere that no one ever heard of ever. Uh, yeah, what the hell? Because you know why? Because she had boobs and it was a woman. That's why. Yeah, it's it's just gotten ridiculous. I, as far as I'm concerned, the Marvel comics are apocrypha too. And it's it's bullshit that you have to go buy a book to find out. How, how did Palpatine survive? Never explain it. You want to hear Palpatine's speech? Oh, you got to play Fortnite. 
you know, mm -hmm. to hear the speech that was cut out of the movie that explains what, you know, the whole opening crawl was about. Mm hmm. I mean, yeah. it's, it's just a colossal... Because Fortnite paid a lot of money to Disney to make sure that they, that, that was the case. Yeah, it's just, it's bullshit. It's Disney Star Wars is bullshit. It's complete bullshit. I mean, at least with George Lucas, you know, yeah, he was after money, of course, but, you know, he, he the story came first, and he wanted to make sure that things... And, and, and there were books and, and stuff like that, but it was extra. It wasn't like you had to read them yeah. to understand what the hell you were seeing on screen. And because it was story first. And Disney used to be story first, and they're not now. To put this in video game terms, what Lucasfilm used to do is they would offer you DLC. What Disney Star Wars is doing is pay to play, mm -hmm. pay to yes, win. Yes, exactly. You have to pay to win. They're giving you these movies, but if you want to actually know what the hell is going on, you have to buy the books. Mm -hmm. You have to buy the whatever. And it's it's a bullshit business model. Well, do model. you think it's accidental that there's these people coming out on Twitter saying, you're not a real Star Wars fan unless you read all these books, this book, that book, and everything else. And, you know, come on. Who would hurry, benefit? Hurry, Who would hurry. benefit by someone going around saying that? Hurry, hurry, hurry. Buy all these books because if you don't buy them, they're going to wind up at the Dollar Tree for a buck. So wait, 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 and you can get them cheap. At Ollie's. At the Dollar Tree. The Goodwills. We've seen them at Goodwills. We have they're, seen them at Goodwills. Yeah, they're all over the damn place. Like, nobody wants the freaking Disney Star Wars books. Um, bargain bargain things at, like, the book fairs and stuff. You see them in the bargain bins. So now, because, you know, Disney, Disney Plus, they're doing another season of Clone Wars, which I think is good. I just hope to God they don't ruin it. But we have another season of Clone Wars coming. Now they have to explain to all the normies who didn't watch the first six seasons what the hell is going on. Or a lot of people aren't huge fans, so they don't know the chronological order. It's kind of like what they did with Marvel, where they give you the list of what to watch in what order um, to make sure that you're watching it chronologically. It's like that. Yeah, so I'm really surprised. Yeah, because a lot of people are like, oh my God, the Mandalorian, that actually is Baby Yoda. So this must be 900 years before. But wait, isn't he Boba Fett? Where's Darth <laughs> Vader? Uh, so yeah, the timeline's all over the place. I'm waiting for Disney to do something really, really stupid and actually put a date stamp on every episode of their show or movies or whatever so people can look and see what date. Captain's Log. Captain's Log. Star date, whatever, whatever. Aren't they dating? Didn't they move the uh, the official calendar of the Star Wars universe to The Force Awakens now? Star Killer base from the Death Star? It used I, to be, I think I heard that, yeah. I'm not sure if that's true or not. Because it used to be uh, everything was centered around the Battle of uh, Yavin. So mm -hmm. they had, uh, what was it, uh, A, B, uh, Y? was after battle yeah. yeah now now it's everything's after like star of course base because or i think that's true i think that's right because you know disney now they own it everything's about disney and whatever they did and because don't you know that whatever they do is the best because they're disney because we're disney and once upon a time that could have been argued as true because usually disney did do things that were amazing innovative and fantastic but lately that is not the case now it's just the borg they just assimilate and uh, they're juggling a lot of balls, and you can't play with that many balls at once without making a few messes. Truth, I've tried. It's when. So anyway, uh, there we go. So now the media again turning on Star Wars, but not the Star Wars they should be turning on. And honestly, at this point, does it really matter which specific movie? Just Disney Star Wars right. is a, a, it's done. It's yeah, other than like Rogue One and, and and even Solo wasn't the best, but it wasn't terrible. Um, you know, and Mandalorian is is okay, but the trilogy movies at least, um, it's just a mess. It's a mess, and I think that's the one thing they had to get right. If nothing else, they had to get the trilogy right, and they they screwed it up. And uh, I think they're gonna script the Mandalorian too. I've just, got I'm, bad feeling about this. Shut now. They are because they know there's money to be made off that little bastard. Baby I Yoda. Know, I know. And they'll get, you know what will happen? Baby Yoda is going to be a girl. And Baby Yoda. Well, Yoda's no, they keep saying he. Okay. But they're talking about doing a Mandalorian in the movie, which I'm like, yeah, that's what, if they're going to do it, they're going to screw it up with the movie. They're going to push too hard and make a movie and it's going to mess everything up. I, I know. Because short of doing Baby Yoda, Baby Yoda is the star from the Mandalorian. And if they do a film, they're going to have to shoehorn Baby Yoda in. And it's going to be like, you know, the Baby Yoda show. Mandalorian should have been should look this crappy Disney Plus show should not be the best Star Wars that Disney's making right now. 
It should be a, a spinoff. It should be some extra. It's not a crappy show. No, I'm not saying it's crappy, but I'm saying the shows on Disney Plus should look like crap compared okay, to, the what you said. to the theatrical release. You said the crappy Disney Plus show, and it's not a, actually not a crappy show. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, it is good. We said but it before. It, should, it looks better than what we're getting in the film and the cinematic. That's what I'm saying. Like it, it the Disney That's Plus. Not what you said. Okay, well, the Disney Plus shows should be definitely, absolutely inferior to what you see in the movie theater. Someone they stuck a junior mint in your brain. They did. They did. It's been a long day. So, anyway, that's what I'm saying. So, uh, everybody can agree, finally, Disney Star Wars is dog shit. Let's move on. Are you going to move on? Or are we going to be doing another video, like, tomorrow? <laughs> Probably will. Because according to Twitter, uh, that's what we do. We get up every day and just wanna. we find things to complain about. I don't want to. Let's let's wrap it up. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.